as a black woman who aborted the only child I ever carried, I sometimes wonder if I even have the right to speak on the disposal of black bodies. Like who am I to open my mouth when I've already parted my other lips and ripped out my next generation's voice? Seems like this world is constantly trying to purge its womb of black bodies. Like it is constantly seeking to suction premature black potential before it ever reaches full term. And I wonder if I am any different. Each time I go to make my declaration about how black lives matter, I think about that one day in April 2006 when I made my own child a hashtag that will never go viral. I think about how no one will ever know my baby's name, including me. If you are seeking political correctness in this poem, or political stance on the age-old debate between pro-life and pro-choice, you will not find it here. What you will find is the status update of a black mother who had to make a hard decision that she must live with daily. Live. I sometimes wonder if other black mothers whose babies were ripped from their lives instead of from their wounds feel this same kind of guilt as each breath feels like a bullet or a billy club or if each tear feels like pepper spray. I question if I even have the right to ever call myself an activist when I can never bring myself to answer my calling as a mother. This is the honest conversation I must have with myself. Each time I see a black mother on the news mourning over the name she thoughtfully picked out for her child, preceded by a pound sign that she never placed in the original spelling. Each time I see a black mother cradling the most important thing she ever created in an arm, a blanket of arms and blood. Each time I see a black mother's mouth sobbing, wailing, stretched to the limit like a fully dilated cervix, like child death is even more painful than childbirth, I wonder. If my eyes were playing tricks on me the day I found out I was pregnant, that if in place of a plus sign, I saw a hashtag instead. Or how gender reveal parties ain't got shit on seeing them fold back the white sheet to confirm if the body riddled with the confetti of bullets is indeed your son or daughter. I question if I am any better than those cops who pull triggers out of fear instead of actual threat. I can't lie and say that till this day, I don't fear ushering a black body into this world. Because here, black bodies are nothing more than black holes, deeper and darker than those who are brave enough to push them here. Here, black bodies become filled with black holes, a space in which lives and matter always seem to get lost. And I can't say that every time I see another baby, that I don't look at myself and say that I can't I can't put myself on paid leave or reward myself. Because when I look at my child, I realize that it wasn't a gun in my child's hand, but it was actually them pointing their finger at me saying, Mama, you're my mama. 